All right, it's Pop News. Adrian's off today. We are very happy, though, to have Fusion's Romina Puga. I'm so excited to be here. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning to you guys. We start things off with the new queen of Hollywood. Forbes released its list of the world's highest paid actresses for 2018. Coming in at number five, Reese Witherspoon, who pulled in $16.5 million. In fourth, Jennifer Lawrence, who starred in Mother and Red Sparrow, is taking home $18 million this year. Third is Jennifer Aniston, who earned $19.5 million, much of it from endorsement deals. Second, Angelina Jolie returns to the ranking with $28 million, thanks largely to Maleficent 2. Wow. And taking the number one spot and dethroning Emma Stone, Scarlett oh, Johansson. Wow. Really? Uh, over $40 million. Johansson starred in Isle of Dogs and Avengers Infinity War this year. Yeah, I gotta so imagine. that kind of makes uh, uh, sense. Avengers yeah, and Isle of and Dogs. Wes Anderson Dogs movie. Yes. Yeah. I saw Isle of Dogs recently on a plane. It's really cute. It's really good, but that's uh, probably not, not where the funny is. No. <laughs> uh, next, Ariana Grande fans are buzzing about her brand new album, Sweetener. That's not a mistake. She is upside down on the cover, which contains her hit, God is a Woman. This is Grande's fourth studio album. One song called Pete Davidson has some pretty sweet lyrics about her Saturday Night Live fiance, calling the comedian her soulmate. They shared a number of candid photos on social media, documenting their love as one does. And Grande apparently also pays tribute to the victims. Very natural pose, by the way. She also pays, um, pays tribute to the victims of, Manchester, of the Manchester bombing with 40 seconds of silence on the last track of her album. Fans of Prince are thrilled with this news. 23 records by the singer are being made available online for the first time. That's in addition to an anthology featuring 37 rare or out of print tracks. Fans can stream and download this first installment of digital releases, which makes up more than 300 songs wow. in all. Yeah, the albums cover a prolific time in his career when he was putting out as many as four albums a year. Wow. Yeah. So much yeah. music in here. Yeah. These are all from like yeah. 1995 to 2010, so we're getting some of his later stuff. And finally, Janet Jackson is ready to extend our summer with a hot new song and music video. It's her first in three years. It's called Made For Now and she collaborates with Daddy Yankee of Despacito fame. The mesmerizing video glimpses, gives us a glimpse of some amazing neighborhood dance parties. Much of the video was shot on the streets of New York City, and it features international dancers from Trinidad, Ghana, wow. Nigeria, and the Ooh, US. Good. Very cool. Yeah. She keeps putting out new music because she's tired of people asking her, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, you were waiting all morning yeah. for that, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I was. Down right there. I was with you. Have my number. Uh, Romina, thank you very much. Great job. Going to be back here tomorrow? Yes. All right. And awesome. coming to us from Los Angeles as well. Yeah. So awesome. We were talking. I was missing all of my old LA. favorite places. Yeah, I love it. You're here now, pal, right? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.